AI ADMK MLAs have chosen O. Paneer Silvam as the new Chief Minister of a Tamil Nadu elect. The MLAs today met to select a new Chief Minister. A day after AI ADMK Chief Jay Lalitha was convicted in the disproportionate assets case. She was disqualified as an MLA and cannot continue as Chief Minister after her conviction. Mr. Paneer Selvam was Finance Minister in Jayalalitha's Cabinet and was Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu in 2011 under somewhat similar circumstances. Uma Sudhir now joins us from outside the Raj Bhavan as well as Sam Daniel who's at the AIADMK headquarters. Uma, uh, it should be any time now that the AIADMK MLAs are meeting the Governor? Yes, indeed, Amitabh. Time has been sought for 6 p.m., but we do not expect them to come uh, till after a few minutes from now because we do understand that there is also a uh, sentiment in a sense uh, because 4.30 to 6, we understand, is a Rahu Kalam and uh, Paneer Silvam uh, before staking his claim uh, to be the leader and informing the governor that he has been elected, the chief minister-elect of the uh, AIADMK uh, legislature party would want to go in at an auspicious time. So he is going to go in and stake his claim uh, when the uh, swearing-in ceremony will happen, that uh, is not yet clear. We expect that such an announcement may come uh, later this evening. We are expecting that this could, ha in fact, happen tomorrow in the evening. Paneer Silvam's uh, 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 elevation or selection now uh, to be the leader, of course, was something that uh, Jailalita must have planned very, very carefully because over the last few days, uh, she has uh, probably uh, anticipated that such an outcome is also possible from the court. And that's the reason why she has uh, selected someone who many people uh, would call a very trusted uh, uh, aide of the Chief Minister. Paneer Selvam, of course, has been uh, in the Chief Minister's chair before in very similar circumstances in 2001 when Jayalalitha had to step down as uh, Chief Minister. Uh, September 2001, he took over. Six months from then, he uh, vacated the seat once again for Jayalalitha to become Chief Minister. So, in a sense, there is also, I would, uh, I would reckon, a, uh, a sentiment running there, hoping that uh, a similar set of circumstances would follow that Jalalita will be able to come back to the Chief Minister's chair. At least that's what her supporters are hoping. But on the other hand, uh, what uh, what the the, the, uh, the uh, conditions on the ground, very, very different from 2001 because at that time she was not inside jail. This time she is inside jail. Her supporters are hoping that she will come out of jail. She was able to take hands-on decisions at that time. Will she be able to do that? How soon Maybe may she be able to step out of jail? This is a conviction and she's also disqualified from contesting elections for the next 10 years. So these are uh, factors certainly that uh, make this uh, situation a little different from the earlier time. But Paneer Silvam's selection is certainly not something that comes as a surprise uh, considering that he is uh, a trusted lieutenant. He has been number two in Jailalita's cabinet. He was the finance minister in the AIA DMK cabinet. He has been PWD minister earlier. And also the fact that he does belong to the Tevar community, which is a dominant dominant community and also a community that has been seen as a, a supporter of uh, the AIA DMK party. So any minute now we can expect Paneer Silvam and his uh, uh, other MLAs to come in and meet Governor Rosaya. Uh, uh, as of now it is uh, Gosia, Rosaya who was the executive in charge. Uh, that's what some of the constitutional experts are saying that because she was disqualified in a sense her uh, continuing as uh, chief minister would have been ultra wise and therefore there is probably no question of of her resigning or giving in a resignation, her uh, Council of Ministers doesn't exist. So I would reckon that the uh, AIA DMK would want their government in place at the earliest. Paneer Silvam in, his, in the Chief Minister's chair at the earliest. Amita? I'm just going across now to get a sense of what's happening at the AIA DMK headquarters with Sam Daniel. Uh, Sam, any more details on uh, what really went on inside there? You have a guest, M. Radhika, with you? That's right. I have Ms. Radhika, the ADMK leader and also the former chairperson of the Arkart municipality. But the procedure is very simple uh, with the ADMK here, Amitabh. The party chief decides who would succeed her and that is conveyed to the MLAs and then they formally elect that particular person. And in this case, it was Mr. Opanir Selvam who was elected a short while ago as the co leader of the legislature party and who is now heading to meet the governor 
to stake claim to form the next government. And in this case, Mr. Panir Salam had a humble beginning. He owned a tea shop in Periculum Municipality, later became the chair, chairman of the Periculum Municipality then, an MLA in the year 2001, and also became a minister, and elevated in the same year as the chief minister when Jailalitha was convicted in the Tansi land deal case at that time. Let's speak to Mr. Radhika on the selection of Mr. Panir Selvam as uh, Chief Minister yet again. Uh, your thoughts on this, ma'am? Um, our thought is, all our ADM members thought that whatever our Madam CM told, that is our opinion. So who, uh, we don't know that OP is selected, but whoever may be, which is the word sent by CM, our uh, General Secretary, Madam, is the OK. What are his strengths? Whom? What are his strengths, Mr. Panir Selvam's strengths? Um, I think he is 2001 to th uh, 2002 for uh, last uh, five years. He is a very honest to our CM and uh, truly to our CM. That's why we don't know our CM, that our general secretary like our OP. That's right. all. Many would and, also... Yes. And he will, I think, uh, our uh, next to CM will also obey the whatever our CM did for the public. And he also do the same to the public. Last, our CM did a lot to the public. Last five years, within the three and a half years, he did a lot for day to day. He uh, sent the statements to the public. Amma right. amma uh, cement, amma water, amma medical, laptop, and right. cycle right. Uh, books. And he lives for the public and dies for the public. And he sacrificed a lot to the right. public. And many would also say by selecting Mr. Panir Selvam as Chief Minister yet again, uh, he would be he could be a proxy to Mr. Jalalitha. He would be the remote control operating him. What would you say? For that? We can we cannot get the remote control. It is not a remote control system. He hobby he want to do something for the public and he will do the uh, general what whatever the CM whoever maybe the CM comes to the party they will do the same to. Will you be able to work independently? Uh, it is we cannot uh, you cannot say that independent he works for the public that's all right, right. he do the good for the public right. so that's the mood among the party cadre it's mixed emotions here Amitabh many are quite upset that their party chief Mr. Jailalitha is behind bars convicted in the uh, assets case they hope that she would come out soon also in a way they're happy and relieved that uh, this crisis has come to an end and very soon the new chief minister would be sworn in